Hi everyone, welcome to another episode. In this one, we're going to be reacting to Band of Brothers, episode eight, called "The Last Patrol." Um, recap. It was just bloody. The whole thing was just bloody. They basically went back to the forest in in in, in Belgium um, to. I think it was they retook their old positions basically, mm. and the Germans were just like bombing. Yeah, they were shelling the hell out of it, and it yeah, just... and it was. Yeah. I think one thing we commented in the last one was the cinematography of how they portrayed that was insane because the way the, the, the yeah it was just it was just it was just an amazing episode to watch. It was a sad episode because we actually lost a lot of soldiers in that as well through. Um, you know, Buck had PTSD, so a very, very Severe. bad form of PTSD yeah, yeah. because obviously he saw um, he saw Toy and um, Garnier Garnier lose their legs. Just, legs. Yeah, he just, yeah. just that look on his face was just horror. He just turned yeah. into a ghost there. Yeah, um, that, was, that um, was bad. And then it was, yeah, it was just. And we lost the two. Not, like, we lost the two in the foxhole. I think one was Mankell. I'm not too sure. Yeah, lost um, to, um, Lipton was Lipton. Lipton was narrating the entire episode, and um, yeah, uh, he's another. He seemed like another good reader leader in terms of lifting the morale of the men, knowing when to do it, what to say, how to treat each each of the, the people beneath him, and Dyke, be mainly because um, Dyke, yeah, Lieutenant yeah. Dyke was was useless, and he'd been put in that position because he obviously had connections up above. And there's nothing Winters could do to replace him, unfortunately. Um, mainly because Buck would have been a good replacement, but he got he, 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 yeah, he had to be he, was, yeah. he had to be he had to be pulled out. Um, Dyke was it's then it. relieved of duty, um, yeah. and Spears well, midway through a fight. yeah midway where they were supposed to go forward, and Dyke's like fall back, fall back. I yeah. can't find someone. I can't remember who you couldn't find. It's like no, you're just putting everyone in a messed up position. They're gonna end up getting killed. It's like, oh, and let's just flank him. Killed. He got loads of people yeah. killed. As soon as he gave an order to do something, the first 10 seconds, someone got shot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Spears relieved him, or the Terminator. The Terminator the relieved Terminator. <laughs> the Terminator relieved Dyke um, and did an incredible job. Of, of obviously. Do you know what I, think he, I was thinking about? He almost did like a Captain America when he ran to that. Ran across, so gave that, information, yeah, came back. It just, <laughs> that was very, I mean, from what we know of Captain Spears about the whole whether he killed the, the German troops and whatever and then seeing that it, it's two different sides because up until and you know we've always seen it as a, like a very quiet character he doesn't he just pops up here and there um, so that was the first time I, we actually saw him I like uh, at the end he's talking to Lipton at the church where the, the, the soldiers get a bit of relief from the calming music from the, the choir but he's talking, Lipton's talk, who's got a promotion, rightly yeah. so. He's talking to Lipton and Lipton's like, are this story's true kind of thing? And he's like, yeah. well, consider the, you know, like people say, it's always coming from a different person yeah. and it's not, Angle, yeah. and it's never yeah. from someone who was there kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I heard yeah. from, I heard from him or I heard from him. Yeah. And uh, he's like, it, it just makes sense to kind of have this story of, someone who's a badass yeah. and maybe just it's just makes sense not to correct them yeah because you yeah, just yeah. come off like a bad so we'll never we'll like they'll no, never know if it was a true story yeah. or not. i mean we saw that we saw the first episode <laughs> no the second episode where he, he literally hands um them yeah, cigarettes, the cigarettes and comes down so yeah. we know it's true but yeah um we actually kind of need him but someone like him we need someone mm. like him um because he gets shit done and he saves lives in the process um because he treats the war as cold-hearted as he as he does kind of thing yeah i think i think he said it in the beginning where he's like you just got to accept you're already dead oh yeah he says it to Blythe, doesn't it. he yeah yeah um so let's see what happens in this one let's see how we move forward i think we had to at the end of the last one lipton said okay we didn't get much rest we got one night's rest and then we had to yeah. immediately go somewhere else so i'm assuming that's what this episode is about so episode eight the last patrol let's check it out we had lost some uh, very good men there. Toy and Garnier had lost their legs there. We lost so many. We lost so mm. many. I don't know the exact amount of men that got killed in that. Uh, but uh, 
six, seven of them were real close friends of mine. Hmm. We went to Hagenau. There was another push there. Hagenau. You have a feeling you're going to live through the war. You have a feeling it's starting to ease off. I got a feeling this is winters. It looks like it's, yeah, from his accounts, what he says. I believe I might be able to live through it. So walk carefully. Take care of yourself. Makes sense. Wise words. Hagano, that's that's where that's where they were going. That's where he said in the last one. I think they were going next because Hitler was being a twat. It was being Hitler. The 101st Airborne had been made famous by what it did in the Battle of the Bulge. Newspapers called them the battered bastards of Bastogne. The battered bastards of ba Bastogne. That's mad. I had missed Bastogne. All I knew was what I had read and heard around the replacement depot that we had broken the back of the enemy and the war would soon be over. This is another narrated episode. When I was finally able to rejoin Easy Company, they looked nothing like the heroes who had just helped win the war. Yeah, but whose voice is it? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. My name's David Webster. I just got back from the hospital. Good for you. Webster. Getting a bit of a cold reception, isn't it? Hubler, where's he? They just look. They look completely war torn different, yeah. and just drained. Report to second, Webster. They'll find a place for you. Next truck up, Webster. You'll find second. Move. It's a bit cold, isn't it? Lieutenant told me to report to second. Your name's Jackson, right? Who's leading the platoon? I think a molecule lieutenant. He's on fast track now. Really? That's great. Yeah. Well done, Malaki. Must have liked that hospital. Was, uh, we left Holland four months ago. Well, I wasn't there the whole time. It was rehabilitation. I'm sure, he tried to bust out and help us in Bastogne with. Oh, they're, they're caught yeah, up because of, yeah. he didn't immediately come back to help them. Oh my god. It's jokes, it's jokes, it's jokes. Everyone, it. everyone just went like that and he completely yeah. nosedived into the ground. The guys I knew were either gone or very different from what I remembered. Yeah, that's called war, mate. Because I had missed Bastogne, I was treated as a replacement and felt like I was starting all over again. Yeah, oh, that's... He's got pneumonia. Sorry. Oh, no. Oh, what are you sorry about? He's alive, he's got a couch, goddamn blanket, snug as a bug. <laughs> Uh, Sergeant Malarkey said to check with the CO if I should be in 2nd platoon. Have a C Webster. We'll get you situated. Had to be a full moon. So much for the cover of darkness. It's gonna leave the patrol exposed. Lieutenant Jones looking for Captain Spears. He's on his way, sir. Why don't you, uh, sit down? He's so young. Well, he looks so young. Mm, yeah. They have to be... Regiment wants patrol for prisoners. This one comes straight from Colonel Sink, so... It's not my idea. There's a three-story building on the enemy side, up the embankment. We know it's occupied. You can have 15 men. Think very hard about who you want to lead the patrol. Lieutenant Jones, sir. Right, our West Pointer. Yes, sir. When'd you graduate? June 6th, sir. That's insane. <laughs> All right, don't get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Request permission to go on the patrol. No, you have an experience. Ooh, yeah, it's like burn. fresh. Tell, tell Heffron, Ramirez and McClung they're going. Yes, sir. Uh, Lieutenant Foley told me to go to second, but Sergeant Malarkey said. Fine, second. Take uh, Lieutenant Jones, Lieutenant. They all just look tired, not tired, but like I said, battle worn, like just fatigued, completely. fatigued. Mm. I don't blame him. Oh my god. Oh, how close was that? That was close. That was super close. I don't know, I think so. Yo! Oh my god. So you're without a platoon leader? No, not anymore, Lieutenant. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to introduce me to the men? Well, it's funny because they actually look like resistance now. They don't, you know, they're, they're tired. I mean, they look change. rugged. Yeah, there's that's, no like. That's just war. His his uniform's quite nice and. Patrols being planned for the night. Zero one hundred hours across the river. 
Hutchman wants POWs for interrogation. Captain Spears is to pick 15 men. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Jones wants to be one of them. Expect some flares, a few mortars at night, scattered 88, snipers during the day. Yeah, we dodged some mortars on our way in. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a big whoop. Yeah, that's essentially what that yeah, was. That, that, that big whoop. <laughs> Made any attempts to cross the river? No. They have roofs over their heads, sir, just like us. I, I, see, I know what you mean, though. Compare the malarkey from when we started watching yeah. this show to yeah. now he looks like a resistance yeah. fighter. Yeah. yeah. There are three men here in this room that they think should be on the patrol. Efron. Oh, shit. McClung. And? And you. Ramirez. There is a patrol set for tonight. So far, Spears wants McClung. We know. Yeah, we've just fucking heard. Webster here told us. <laughs> God. I told you, don't trust them. They're just gonna... I mean, they were gonna find out ten seconds later anyway. anyway yeah. Come on, come on, come on, go! Come on, stay low, stay low. Oh my God. <laughs> Malaki is so unfazed by this now. Yeah, it's just I know, like, right? He's, he's like, is this like, is this like this? He's like, just... Oh no. See. He got hit. Bill Keane, a Tacoa man, was killed because he was carrying a sack of potatoes from one building into another. Oh man. Oh, is that guy that. Yeah. Second platoon on me. Well, Malaki really hates giving bad news like this, doesn't he? Just, like, mm. just sending more people to potentially get injured or hurt or die. CEO wants Grant. We've got Win. Jackson, shifty from third platoon, and Webster. Can't believe they're gonna make Malachi lead it. <sighs> Christ, he only lost his five best friends. What the fuck's he got to look for? That's not nice. There was a point in the previous episode when Malachi was feeling it a bit. He was quite low. Yeah. Because um, yeah. he'd lost his friends. And there was a little point where Lipton handed him that Luger. Lifting yeah. his spirits just slightly. Yeah. And yeah. it's just, he's back now. He's back just... He's got that kind of face that Buck had. Okay. It's not the same face. Not the same face. This is, like... this is I'm shattered. This is I'm tired. I'm run down. Sergeant Malarkey's really in no condition to be on this patrol. And maybe if you offered, we could go in his place. Yeah, so it's a great idea, Web Webster. Um, yeah. Someone inexperienced to lead the troops. Yeah, yeah. well done. Great idea. It's going to get him killed. Yeah. Lieutenant Jones wanted to experience combat before the war was over. I mean, it is obviously a better... It is an op that you can go on, but if you've not had the experience, it's not like you're going to get prisoners. It's not like, a, mm. you know... Go get rations. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, there's massive difference. Oh, Hershey bars! Jesus Christ. We can turn them. Yeah, who are they for? They're not you. Oh, we... come on, George, one bar. No, there's not enough to go around. What's up, guys? Hey, How do you do at the place, George? Yeah, 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 he did good, huh? Have a Hershey's. Yeah, thanks. Hey, you guys are fucking Hershey bar. Well, he got shot in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Replacement lieutenant blew his foot off, stepped on a shoe mine. Fresh in from West Point, had to come back empty-handed. That's exactly what he wants to hear. <laughs> Yeah. Please. Hey, come on. Come on. Fucking day. Give Let me, me take him. I'm supposed to watch these. Come on, you don't even smoke cigarettes. Oh, God, they're actually raiding it as well. Yes. This is hilarious. The intelligence giving you the information on the CP. Third house on the left. As soon as our men are back in the boats, we want a quad 50 opening on. feel that I should go on the patrol, sir. I know I could use the experience. Denied. Anything else? Unlucky. You're not going to lead that patrol, Lieutenant Jones. Sergeant Malarkey could use a break, sir. I've discussed it with him, and he said that he did not mind if I took his place on the patrol. That was nice of him. Did he? Yeah, he did, yeah. Fine, you can go. There'll be a briefing. CP, 1700. Lieutenant Jones here. He's the ranking officer, and he'll be along as an observer. Sergeant Martin here will lead the patrol in Sergeant Malarkey's place. We know it's an outpost and want to destroy it, so you have to lay some demo on a time delay. You have to move oh, fast. please don't be messed up in terms of the time delay. Remember, it's about prisoners. Don't pop the first thing that moves. Clear? Yes, sir. You have to be ultra careful. Clung, Sisk, Cobb, Garcia, 
and Webster, this translator. The rest of you guys, a base of fire with Sergeant Grant. Nice to get out of everything. Whatever. They're really kind of shitting on him, aren't they? Like, properly. It's just that everyone, as soon as they got injured and they tried to get back out of the hospital to yeah. come back and help, and it, to them, it feels like he didn't try and do that. And there's 16 of us, including two translators. I'm fine. Uh, hey, Liv Gut, you want to sit this one out? Nothing rattles, nothing shines, no helmets. No, no helmets? helmets? Why? I don't Easy know. target? I don't know. I wonder why he's doing that. It's the sight of the gun. Why would you... 15 men crossing a river to capture prisoners from a German observation post. Getting back safely could be successfully accomplished in as little as 10 minutes. Or it could go horribly wrong and it'd take yeah. ages and you result in loads of losses. Well, you could, yeah, you could lose all 15 of them. Yeah. And I bet you it took ages. That wait till it actually gets dark is probably... Yeah. Time ticks slow, right? Mm -hmm. Winters was right about the moon. Yeah, it's really bright. It's That's way too thing. bright, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, this is already... <laughs> Now there's even less men. God, that seems really loud to me as well. <laughs> Take Grant and Heffron. Secure the right perimeter and the crossroads. Clear. Security out. Go. Move. So far, so good. I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, just. I'm feeling tense here. I'm like, mm. it's just. Oh my god! Ooh. Why would you run in? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why did he run in? Also, they haven't got a medic with them, have they? Everyone's woken up now. Get back, get back to the river. I can't see anything. Are they just shooting back at the muzzle flash? Yeah. Just, just go, go back. Go, go, go. Just keep on running. Just, just go, 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 go. Get back to the boat. Quick, 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 quick. Technically, we're okay at the moment. I mean, apart from Jackson. I know they were meant to do it once they got in the boats, but they wouldn't have made it that far. Yeah, they wouldn't have made it. Yeah. Oh my god, god. okay, this is getting too... Stop moving. Move, move. So much smoke, they can't even see what they're shooting at. Oh no. What's he doing? He's gonna shoot him. Oh god. Look at the frame. Okay. That's good. Has he got a fragment stuck in his mouth? Alright, let's get him out of here. Let's get him out of here. We're not gonna die. I need you to hang on. Jackson! Oh. What's happening to him? I don't know. Fuck. Ah, oh, Eugene's seen too much of this. I don't exactly know... Eugene Jackson was 20 years old. What happened there? He'd lied about his age when he joined the army at 16. 
Oh, that's messed up. He's a kid. Mm -hmm. Eugene lost his life on a stretcher in a dank basement in Hagenau, crying out in agony while his friends looked on helplessly. Yeah, so messed up. Get up in the truck. Up, up. It was his own grenade. He died of his wounds, sir. Well executed. It's not your fault. I was going to say that. Technically, it was done well. It's just... A mistake. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They want another patrol tonight. Another one? Looks like he's starting to get the same face as the other guys now. Leave someone in the bank? Yeah. Maybe we should put him out of his misery. Fuck his misery. Shit. As cold as ice, that is. I realized they dropped someone. I couldn't. I couldn't figure out who it was. Yeah. And then I yeah. thought they got him on the boat, but obviously not. But is he just still stuck on the bank? Yeah. Far too injured. Germans won't get him because they'll be drawn out of a position. Yeah, and then these guys won't shoot him because they could. Yeah. Because they want him to that suffer. Mad. So he's literally just dying of his injuries on a. Yeah. On a bank in France. Are you drunk, trooper? Leave me alone. Answer the question. Yes, sir, I am drunk, sir. Sick and tired of fucking patrols. Taking orders. Hey, come. Shut up. I get it. I kind of get it. But he's drunk. He wouldn't have said it if it was sober. <laughs> yeah. So he knows we lost a man. He also knows he picked up two prisoners who talked. About what? OB, uh, supply trouble, Hitler's favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> Like useless shit, basically. He gave him a successful patrol. Now he wants to. Successful. Great. Same roster as last night. Well, well minus. Mostly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, minus. Like damn sure you remind them how proud I am of what they did. Yes, sir. Don't think they give a fuck how proud yeah, you are of. Going, yeah. He wants you to do another patrol across the river tonight. The outpost we hit last night will go up in flames, Martin. Yes, sir. Means we'd have to venture farther into town this time. Oh, damn. Do you have the map, please? Okay, now it's really oh, yeah, dangerous. Yeah, it did blow up. Yeah, it did. Mm. This is our new house target here. Okay, this is far more dangerous. We covered all the boats, so we'll be setting off from the same place we did last night. Because it's further distance to go there mm. and come back. And come back, yeah. In the morning, you will report to me that you made it across the river into German lines. We're unable to secure any live prisoners. Oh shit. Winters? I was not expecting that from him. Neither was I. Look sharp for tomorrow. Moving off the line. You know why? Mm. You know, I think so that they don't send them again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's notice he's noticing the men's morale is dipping yeah. so fast. I like how he clocked onto that. The fresh graduate. Yeah. He's like, okay, I understand what's happening here. For Sergeant Lipton. Sir. I wonder what that smile was about. For honorable discharge as an enlisted man. Just keep him coming, love. Is Lipton being discharged? Yes, sir. Thank you. Welcome back, sir. Regiment has seen fit to promote you to first lieutenant. Staff up there. Well, well done, kid. So a second patrol never happened. Word was Captain Nixon wrote up a bogus report and regiment never got wise. Colonel Sink's a bit unhappy with the appearance of your uniform. He says it's not befitting to your rank. Promotion? You got promotion. Yeah, What's he now? Oak Leaves. Oak Leaves means... Congratulations, Major. Colonel. Major? Major, oh wow. Nice. Just let him run the whole army, man. <laughs> He's a goddamn genius. Yeah, okay. oh, well, at least he made a friend. Hey! Got my friends back. Old. Back into the Brotherhood. Hmm. I wondered if people back home would ever know what it cost the soldiers to win this war. Yeah. 
How could anyone ever know of the price paid by soldiers in terror, agony, and bloodshed if they'd never been to places like Normandy, Bastogne, or Hagenau? Very true. Mm -hmm. By the time they left Hagenau, Easy Company's European campaign had taken them from England to France, Holland, and Belgium. Wow. Yeah, they, they did a lot. They did a lot. Soon they would be entering Germany. Oh shit, I'm absolutely fucking terrified now. And that's the end of the episode. Thoughts? That was interesting. That was that was a really interesting um episode. Like you said, from when they first showed them, like I said, they didn't look like soldiers almost. They they had like their, like their resistance attire. Their, well Malaki specifically did. He had that kind of the hat and the, yeah, the jacket. Yeah, the, yeah. It looked very, <laughs> and he hadn't shaved. Yeah, he hadn't shaved for a while. Uh, it looked very resistance fire, but it, 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 I think it was sort of in a way to also, and his facial expression was kind of yeah. a way to show just how run down the men were, and like, like almost it just had a string of hope left that they would mm. make it back home, kind of thing, and they won't be stuck in here forever. Um, and then Webster just... comes in, yeah, and he's yeah, yeah. fresh, fresh out of hospital, or after hospital, they had to do like rehabilitation and stuff like that. So they're a bit, you know, they're a bit suspect of him, yeah, because everyone else literally just Fought. ran away from hospital, yeah. or they came back and they were, you know, they, they went to 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 the Battle of the Bold. So it was, I can see why they gave him the cold shoulder a little bit. Mm. Um, and he kind of obviously spent the episode kind of in a way earning yeah fighting his way back into the fold yeah yeah um and obviously helping the lieutenant and all that but just that the, that winter's decision i think that was the right decision to be like we'll that's just write brilliant. up that was brilliant like, that was because... brilliant man he could see it he could, when the colonel yeah. when colonel sink told him he could you yeah. could see on his face like i don't want to tell these guys yeah yeah, yeah i don't want to do that yeah, yeah. and then when he told them when he was there down telling them that, oh, we've got to go again, you could just tell like, You could see, oh, I don't, yeah. I don't give a, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care about POWs. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't care, I don't, no, I don't care about doing this anymore. And he was just like, you know what? Let's, yeah. Let's, um, call yeah, yeah, yeah. let's call it. But um, he's, he's very clever in that moment to make that. Yeah, like correct. We've always yeah. said Winters is very. He's, he's attuned very, very, to every situation, attuned to yeah. specifically how his men. Room. Yeah, how his men yeah. are in Read the Room. Um, Webster eventually fought his way back into the dark brotherhood and, and um, that was good. Um, we didn't, we got one fatality in... in um... That was just unlucky because... What was his name? Jackson. Jackson, yeah. Was it Jackson? It was, I think, I think it was Jackson, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was just unlucky, but again, it's just, I don't know, in that moment, what must, because like I said, I thought he, when he threw the grenade in, mm. and then he didn't wait for it to go off, he just, just ran in, and it was like, oh, yeah, it was, um, yeah, I that mean, was, that was, I think he was just in the, like, yeah, the it, adrenaline, yeah, the, the adrenaline rush yeah. kind of thing, so we can't really, yeah. But it, well, yeah, it was a massive, it was a massive mistake, um, which unfortunately led to the, the loss of his life. I mean, it looked, also, it looked like three of them didn't make it across because they were in a boat when they couldn't swim. And it was in the beginning, you know, like at the beginning of the mission. That was, yeah, that was, quite a, that was semi funny because he was screaming, I can't swim. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, yeah. You're, in, that, in that moment, you're like, shh, we're yes. trying to get <laughs> Um, all his mouth. <laughs> but apart from that, yeah. it was a it was a well led operation, and it was it was going to be very simple. And another reason why I think um, uh, Winters kind of didn't want this to go ahead is because they had to go further into town, and there's just the percentage chance yeah. of a a, a, casu a casualty increases the further yeah, in you yeah. go, and it's, it's a, you have to cover more distance. And also, the thing is, because you've done that, because you've pulled off that trick last night. Yeah. They, they won't expect it they, so they are expecting it but they just don't know where it's going to hit so that means that maybe a few more patrols on their side would be awake you know rather than oh, not awake yeah. but then yeah so I it's, see what you it's mean. kind of i see what you mean um and obviously because and obviously uh, that the information given by those germans was wasn't really of substance yeah. of any substance yeah. so yeah um i'm actually 
more worried now because the ending of the episode was like okay okay um apart from jackson everyone's sort of okay we we can sort of move on to another place but we're going into germany now yeah and, yeah, yeah and um the og crew is kind of dwindling of easy company um yeah. and i'm a bit worried about what's going to happen next but hopefully nothing happens and it's smooth sailing <sighs> But let's ah. but but let's see what happens. Uh, but a great episode overall. Um, let us know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of this episode? And um, let us know if we got anything wrong in, whilst we were reacting to the episode. Uh, but other than that, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.